What to do YouTube, it's your boy Brez back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all exactly how I scale the brands to the crazy numbers that you guys have seen me post 100K months right on my computer right here. I'm going to show you step by step exactly what I do to take these brands to the numbers I do. Real quick before this video starts, I'm going to run you guys through some of the numbers that we did for March, some of my clients and the numbers that they hit so y'all know that I really do this shit. I know majority of you people watching this know that I already do, but to the people who are new and have never seen me before I'm just gonna just gonna have to show my worth so let me run y'all through some of the numbers we did this past month of March it is currently April 2nd so all right y'all boys so as you can see we are on the balcony of the penthouse here uh, like I said real quick I just want to run y'all through some of the numbers we did for the month of March so first store here first client we managed to pull in 58k on the month yeah second client here we managed to pull in 30k for the month so third client of the month, we managed to pull in a whopping $66,000 in sales. Another one, fourth client here, we managed to do $32,000 in sales on this store. Boom, another client, $53,000 in sales. You can see the big spike here. He actually did a flash sale for his five year anniversary. Another client, we did $34,000 in sales last month. Now another one, $24,000 in sales last month. And last but not least, another client who did $18,000 in sales through half of the month, as you can see his sales dropped off because he closed his site. But now y'all know that I really do this shit, I don't cap about this shit on the internet, so let's head into the PC setup and let's run y'all through exactly how I do this shit. All right, so real quick, before we get into the actual setup and actually how to run these ads, and I show you guys step-by-step step how to run these ads, I just real quick wanna go through some of the key factors in having your brand set up properly for the ads. Now, I've made a video on this previously, so if you guys wanna go back and watch that more in depth, feel free to do so. But I really like to classify five factors that go into having your brand set up properly for ads. Content, product, offer, aesthetic, and then the marketing behind the brand. So content obviously is really, really important. You need to have nice, good looking content, very aesthetic. That goes with the aesthetic factor of the brand. You need to have good content that can be intriguing for your customers and bring new people in. Now for the product, obviously nobody's gonna buy your product. If your product is bad, your product needs to be unique and have a way to stand out from other brands' products. Now for the offer for your brand, you need to have some sort of exclusivity to make your customers feel like they're getting the win rather than you getting the win when they purchase from your brand. Whether that's a discount, whether it's a free shipping, whether it's like a free keychain, free bracelet, something in their package. But it's really important to have some sort of offer for your customers that way they feel like they're getting the win rather than you getting the win when they buy from your brand now a lot of you may ask where do I even start with ads and that's exactly what we're gonna go through in this video the main two platforms that I like to run ads on are Facebook ads and TikTok ads now when you hear me refer to Facebook ads that is actually Instagram ads for a lot of these streetwear brands we're only running ads to Instagram because that's where their target audience is their target audience isn't on Facebook no one my age sits and scrolls on Facebook all, all day long it's just kind of like old heads that sit there and scroll on Facebook all day long so unless it's some sort of product that can be marketed to an older audience I kind of stay away from Facebook and solely just do Instagram which is all hosted through the same platform called meta ads now if you've never ran meta ads before you wouldn't know that but if you have you would but everything is hosted through the same platform for Facebook and Instagram just called meta ads And that's exactly what we're gonna go through in this video now TikTok ads is gonna be for a video later down the line But we're gonna dive deep into Facebook ads today So let's get into it Let's hop on the computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly first how to set up your account and then how to publish your first campaign All right, so as y'all can see we are now inside of the Facebook ads manager once you are inside of the Facebook ads manager, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your personal account logged in and then create a business page underneath that personal account. So once you do that, then you're gonna head into the ads manager tab. You should see window like this on the left side. You're gonna go into ads manager. That's gonna take you into the screen that looks like this. From there, we're gonna to wanna to go to all tools and business settings. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how to have your account set up properly in order to run ads because there are a few things you have to do before running any ads. So first things first, we're gonna to wanna to create our page. As you can see, this account is already set up, but we're gonna to wanna to go under ad, create a new page, brand or product. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the name of the brand and then choose clothing brand. So once you do that, you're just gonna click create page and it'll create your page like this. Then from there, 
You're going to want to click assign people. You're going to see your name on here and you're going to want to make sure you give yourself full control of the page. Once you do that, just go ahead and click assign. Now, from there, we're going to head into ad accounts and we're going to go ahead and do the same process for the ad account. That's going to make us our ad account that we run the ads from. So we're going to want to go to add, create a new ad account, name it, whatever you want. Just probably the brand name is easiest. Um, and then you're going to want to click next and create. From there, it's going to prompt you to add a payment method. Go ahead and do that. You can wait. I'll show you how to do that after you make the ad account. You can you can X out of that, click cancel, or just add it yourself if you want. But once you're done doing that, you're going to want to come again to assign people. Click your name, full control, assign. Once you do that, you'll be granted access to that ad account. Then we're going to want to get the Instagram set up and linked. So what you're going to do for that is just come here, click add. It'll pop up the Instagram login page. You'll just simply click login, put your login in, and it'll pop up back to the screen like this with your Instagram here. And again, you're just going to go to assign people and give yourself the access. Then from there, we're going to want to go ahead and get our pixel set up. So we're going to head into data sets and then we are going to click add, name it, most likely just your brand name, whatever you really want to. And then once you click create, it's going to prompt you to a page like this. So again, you're going to want to make sure that you give yourself access, full control, assign. And then the important part here, don't miss this. You're going to need to connect this asset to your ad account. So boom, just like that, click add. Now I did skip over that step in the Instagram account. So make sure that you do that for the Instagram account as well. Go to connected assets, assign assets, and then assign it to that ad account that we just made. So now we have our data set made, but we're going to need to go ahead and link that to our Shopify. We're just going to do one thing quickly before we do that. I'm going to show you guys how to add the billing method after you've already created the ad account if you did not do it through the prompt. So you're going to head into billing and payments, then click accounts and just click. There will be a button here that says add payment method instead of where it says pay now for me. It'll say add payment method. Just go ahead and click that button and you will be good to go. Since you are inside of Shopify, we're going to want to head on the left side here to the Facebook and Instagram sales channel. If you don't already have that, just come here type in Facebook and Instagram, and it's this one right here. Just install that and then click on it, and it will bring you to this page. Now, on your screen, I already have mine set up, but on your screen, you'll see a little button here, Start Setup. You're going to walk through that, and it's going to prompt you to go through and link everything up. So you're going to want to make sure that you set your data sharing as maximum. There'll be three options. Make sure to set that as maximum. And then you're going to want to make sure that you link the pixel as well. So it'll look like this for you. You're going to want to take that pixel ID and make sure that that matches the pixel ID that you made for your brand new pixel. So you'll see the pixel ID here. Just make sure that those match up and you are good to go. We've got that complete. We're going to head back into the ads manager screen and I'm going to show you guys how to set your first ever campaign up. So now that you're back in the ads manager screen, make sure at the top of the screen here, you have the selected ad account correct. Then we're going to go ahead and click create at the top left here. We're going to go to sales campaign, manual sales campaign. And we're just simply going to change the name of this to cold conversions. I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to set up a cold conversions campaign for your brand, which essentially is targeting a new audience. So people who have never seen your brand before directing them to convert on your store. So to go and purchase from your store. So we're just going to go ahead and name that cold conversions. We're going to go down to the bottom here, turn catalog off. We don't want to use a catalog. That's essentially just pulling products directly from your Shopify and using the product pictures and posting them on there. Then we are going to click next. Once that's done, that is the campaign fully set up. We're just going to name the ad set cold conversions. Again, you can really name this whatever you want, whatever helps you stay organized. I just like to name them by what they are. Um, just helps me, name, helps me stay organized. So then we're going to select website. We're going to come down to performance goal. Make sure that's set as maximized number of conversions. Our pixel is corrupted USA 2023 main. So make sure that you have the right pixel selected. Again, you can double check that by looking at the pixel ID and making sure that it's the same one on the Shopify. Now for conversion event, we're going to want to go ahead and select purchase. Then we're going to come down and go ahead and set your daily budget. Now budget really comes down to just whatever you're kind of comfortable spending. Um, 
but I recommend anywhere from like 10 to $40 a day just for the cold conversions campaign. Um, and then you can kind of, kind of change things from there. Now, granted, let's say you publish this campaign and it starts performing very well. You cannot increase the budget too fast or it's going to burn the campaign out too quickly. You're not going to want to order or you're not going to want to raise that budget by more than 33% per day. Otherwise, that'll reset it back into the learning phase and then it'll just screw the whole campaign up. So I'm going to go ahead and just start this campaign at $20 a day. And then we're going to come and scroll down now for Advantage Audience Plus. I've tested Advantage Audience Plus versus original audience options. And most of the time I find that original audience options performs better, but we're gonna actually go ahead and split test the two here to see what performs better. Now, for this brand, the demographic of people who buy from this brand are younger audiences. So we're gonna go ahead and select the 18 to 28 age range. And then at the bottom here, we're gonna wanna change this placements to manual and only Instagram. Now this brand obviously is a streetwear brand with a younger audience like I talked about earlier. So we're only going to target this to Instagram. We're not going to have this placed at all on Facebook. Then once you're done with that, you're going to want to click next and that's going to take us to the setup of the ad. Now I'm just going to go ahead and name this one. Um, that way it's, it's organized. They usually just name my creatives by number one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you have the correct Facebook page selected as well as the correct Instagram page. Now, here's where things get a little diverse. You can either choose to use an existing post from your Instagram or create your own ad completely on your own. Now, I'm for this one, going to go ahead and show you guys how to do both. That way you know how to do both. But I'm going to select this as a carousel so that we can use multiple images inside this same ad and then we're going to come into the account and this is where you'll drag and drop all of your content. Now, obviously, you can see all of his contents already in there. So we're going to go ahead and just do some simple flat lay pictures for this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these two. As you can see, these are very, very professional. Now, that's very important to have for your creatives. You need professional professionality for the brand. So primary text, I'm just going to do some real simple stuff. Get a little creative with this, but I'm just going to say blah, 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 hoodie out now. So boom. Then we're going to select the call to action to shop now. Now, obviously don't take this, this caption here seriously. I don't want you guys to think that this is what I'm doing for these brands, but um, get a little, get a little creative with it. Include some of your key selling points. Maybe if you have fast shipping times, include that or certain like details about the product, certain like key selling points about the product in there, but you could be like, um, Judas hoodie out now. Um, Judas hoodie out now. Emphasize the out now. Um, limited time only. Something like that. Something along those lines there. Um, but then we're going to come down to the bottom here. Make sure that you have the links inserted, the proper links. Now for this, I would go ahead and direct them straight to the product page for this exact product since it's only showing this one product. And same thing here on the cards, you're going to put the link in for each card. Now make sure all those links are the same. Otherwise, if you have like one product in one card and a different product in the other, you can change out the links to have them direct straight to that product for that card. But it depends on what the creative is you're running. So now that that creative set up, we're all good to go with that. We're gonna go ahead and quickly duplicate this and I'm gonna show you guys how exactly to do one for an existing post as well. So boom, drop down here, set a create ad. We're gonna go use existing posts and then select posts, come to Instagram because obviously we're not doing any Facebook posts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a feed post. You can filter this out by feed stories, reels. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and choose this one. So obviously the caption from the post automatically gets put in. Now the benefit to running ads to original posts is that it brings the engagement from the ads you run into your actual original post. So let's say I go run ads on this post and it gets 300 likes from the ad. When I go to the profile, then those 300 likes are going to be on the profile. Now we're going to come to the call to action. Obviously again, set this as shop now and then put our link in here. And then that is all you really need to do for the existing posts. Now, one last thing we're going to do to split test cold conversions versus cold conversions audience plus is we're going to duplicate this ad set. And boom, 
name that as I'm just going to go ahead and name this as plus so I can keep this organized and then just come down to the audience here and change this to advantage audience plus and then that campaign is set up you can go ahead and click publish and you are all good to go so that pretty much wraps up the whole video if you guys want to get more in depth with some of these strategies obviously we kept it super super simple these strategies can do well for you but at a high scale it's it's a little bit harder with just one campaign structure to be able to get very far so if you guys need help scaling your brand with certain strategies and certain ad funnels Come and DM me on Instagram. I definitely can help you take your brand to the next level, to those 100K months, 60K months, 50K months, whatever it is you are trying to achieve. I'm here to help. So just come and shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm going to be posting a lot more of these videos. We're going to get a little more in depth with things here on the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, like the video, comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this video where I sit down and actually show you guys step by step how to do these things. I feel like this should be a pretty beneficial video for most people because a lot of brand owners out there really struggle with scaling their brands so like i said again come and dm me on instagram if you need help with this but that pretty much wraps up the video i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one